Yo, yo, it's your boy, can like, so as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, what I got for you guys is a way to make some XP slash stubs coming up this week in MLB The Show. Before we do get into the video, please don't be afraid to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. I drop content over here on my YouTube. Check out my TikTok at AK Electro. You probably see me on your For You page. I'm pretty, pretty consistent over there as well. Check out my Twitch where I stream over there, AK Electro. Everything's pretty much AK Electro besides my Twitter, which you can see is down below. Okay, so let's get into the reason here. Okay, guys, so the way you guys can make XP shot stubs coming up is if you didn't know, this Friday we're coming out with a new program and everyone's saying it's like Roy Holiday. I don't really know, but it's only going to be one player. And this is really, really cool, but really bad in the same thing because one player means you only have one choice of whoever it is. So you're getting that player and you can't throw a fit. But at the same time, this player might be really good. And we're getting to that time where the cards are starting. Like, the cards that you can get are better than some of the collections you can get. Which is weird. So, like, what I mean by that is last year, if you remember, BR Program 3, which just came out today, was like Trevor Story and Outlider. They've dumbed down the ratings a little bit. But those cards, you had to have. And that's what I'm saying. We're getting to that moment now where these cards. You're gonna want to try him out, like Carlos Delgado. Like he's so expensive. He already is expensive, so it's not like uh, he, everyone knew he was gonna be expensive. But that's a bad example. But what I'm saying is like these cards are starting to rival the cards that you get for collecting shit. So what I'm saying is, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to obviously to make these stubs is you're gonna want to go all the way down. Um, we don't know how far this XP is going to be because if it is only one player, it's really hard to say. I'm going to probably say it's probably 300k because I believe that's been in the past. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to find a method to get get XP. And that's what I got for you guys. So if you didn't know, there's a max XP, which if it's 300k, which is kind of a bummer because unless there's a whole bunch of things that they release along with it, they'll probably release. So what they'll probably release is... A exchange, a collection, which will probably get you like 50k, and then maybe a showdown, which might give you like up to 70k. Couple moments, you might get 100k, and then you get 150k. It's gonna have to be less than 300k for you to get it in the same day. But the thing is, it resets at 2 3 p.m. Eastern. If it resets at 3 p.m. Eastern, if you're up at that time, then you can get the extra 100k, and then you can be really, really quickly and get it. So what I got for you guys is a couple different methods that you're going to want to do. Whenever you this comes out on Friday, you're going to want to do all the ones that are given. Immediately do those because when you do those, you're going to get XP while doing them. Since you have to do them anyway, you might as well get XP because if you do them after you get the cap, you won't be getting XP for even doing that stuff. So do them first and then you're going to want to go into the method. And the method's pretty easy. Um, You guys go check out my other videos, but it's pretty much the hit a home run thing. Uh, but there's a new new method. There's a new method. So the old one was pretty much you just get in a game and then you just stadium assignment max XP, XP. The new one is you make a player where you pitch. And what you're gonna want to do is I haven't done it yet because I I'm gonna set it up on Friday on stream possibly. Is you're just gonna make a new player. So set up new Paul player, and then you're gonna do a starting pitcher. And then once you have them active, right? He's ass. I haven't done it yet. You're going to want to do, uh, you're going to go to appearance. And then you're going to make all the physical stuff super quick. You want his windup to be the quickest. And you just want to throw super quick. Turn on the game speed at fast. And then just go really, really quickly. You're going to get more XP. It's going to be more efficient because they kind of like, I'm sure they're going to find another way to dumb down the ratings uh, this time. Because they don't want people getting it quick. And that's going to be your best method is doing this. Um, pitching with your guy and then making a motion that's super super quick find a reliever it's probably i think one of them is 34 i think it is actually 34 i'm just gonna tell you right now are you gonna want to go to generic stretch 34 maybe it isn't that see i don't even know but you're gonna i'll have to look it up but you're gonna want to find the quickest stretch or no it's Just find something that's really, really quickly. I, I, it might be on Reddit. But that's what you're going to do. Pitch or do the other method. 
And that's how you're going to get it. The, this is going to be so much stubs and XP, guys. I don't think you guys realize, like, we're getting to that time. I already said it, where you're going to be able to get more X or stubs because these cards are more wanted because they're better. Like, for example, nobody really cared for who was, like, the first one. Oh, those 90. Because all the live series cards were higher overall, and they're, um, they're, they're better. The live series cards were better. Trout. Tatis, all the 90 pluses were better. So it's like, why do I care about those cards? Like, yeah, people have them. But if these cards are better than what we already have, you almost have to have them. And there's going to be limited supply. It's going to be who gets it to them first. And this is prime example of what's going on right now with the new BR. I'll show you. The new BR just came out, and I think this is a perfect example. This is Jim Edmonds and J.R. Richard. Morgan, not so necessarily. But Jim Edmonds is like, that card is, is, you know, he's, look at this. He's the fifth highest in the game right now. Fifth? Like, they're going to hold value now because they're just getting better and better. And they're better than all the other cards. Because as soon as we get more and more content, there's not going to be many live series or collections that are better. But that's all I have for you guys. If you have any questions, um, Drop them down below. And if you did like the video, don't be afraid to drop a like and subscribe. And this is your boy, K Electro. Out. Peace.